As a physician, I try to make it my business to exercise critical thinking in my decision making. I don't just follow protocols nor blindly believe the hype about some new therapy or medication that big pharma or industry tries to promote as the next best thing ever. No, I'm not that doctor that jumps on the bandwagon just because they call it evidence-based because that can be manipulated nor do I indulge in the hype or feel the pressure of acquiescence to believing what they tell us we should. I take my knowledge, experience, and training and apply it to every situation and draw my own conclusions utilizing a process of critical thinking. This applies to medical cannabis as well. Despite the fact that medical cannabis is incredibly stigmatized, there are a myriad of benefits under the right circumstances. So let's talk about why, starting with a discussion about the endocannabinoid system. A plant demonized to arrest millions, now marketed as a medicine. How does the vast array of chemicals in cannabis engage a mysterious system in our bodies? Many of our current medications are derived from plant sources. And many more were inspired by the effects that certain plants have within the body and those specific molecules were subsequently manufactured in a lab and produced as a standard for the treatment for various ailments. We are in a society where it is 100% acceptable for a person to treat chronic pain with opioids, which is a class of drugs naturally found in the opium poppy plant, which was found to help ease pain, but another less addictive, arguably safer plant-based inspired drug is villainized, such as cannabis. As a physician focused on health and not religion, politics, or profit, that is very bizarre to me. So what is the endocannabinoid system? The endocannabinoid system is a network of communication that utilizes neurotransmitters called endocannabinoids. And these are chemical messengers that move around our bodies and signal other cells using enzymes and cannabinoid receptors to take some sort of action. The system consists of neurotransmitters, the receptors, but also the enzymes responsible for making and destroying these neurotransmitters. Think about the endocannabinoids as a secret mission written on a delivery system that self-destructs after the message has been served. So after they do what they're supposed to do, there are mechanisms in place to degrade them. 